Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. We're gonna take a look at Seesaw today. So I've actually got two windows open. I've got my iPad here, um, which is basically gonna be our student kind of device. And then we've also got, um, I've got another window here. I'll just make this a bit bigger. This is um, on a laptop. Uh, so I've got my QR code, my class QR, QR code there ready to go. Um, and basically this is kind of representing the teacher's point of view. So this is what the teachers will be receiving after the students have created some content um, so I'm going to make that a little bit smaller and just move this over a little bit here so that you can see. So the first thing I'm going to do on my iPad, my student iPad, is I'm going to jump into Seesaw and it's basically asking me if I'm a teacher or a student. So I'm going to click student. And the great thing about this is this QR code that I showed you before, um, once it's printed out, um, I'm going to read it off the screen. It's very accurate and very quick. And so as soon as I hold it up to my QR code, I'm in in a matter of seconds and I'm ready for my learning. So I think this is one of the real benefits of Seesaw is that I can actually get in or my students can get in incredibly quickly. So uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create and have a look at Seesaw and give it some context, give it some ideas. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a, a typical drawing. So the great thing about drawing in um, uh, Seesaw is if I'm doing some drawing, let's say I'm doing uh, some clouds here, I might be actually explaining um, lightning, the concept of lightning and how that comes about or possibly just some rain, um, the water cycle, whatever I do, I've got my record button down the bottom, which is fantastic, so I press record, and it's gonna give me a prompt, um, and it actually records what I do and what I say as I go through. And I'm, when, when I'm finished, I just hit the ticky box. Uh, it'll give me a preview of that. I hit the ticky box again, and because I'm actually in my class from the PR uh, QR code, I select who I am, and the students, uh, sorry, the teachers create um, uh, the class list, and then I hit ticky box again, and that uploads in a matter of seconds, depending on obviously the size of the recording and the data that's in there, and it's ready for my next item. So for this activity today, we're gonna actually have a look at um, kind of a treasure hunt, a colored treasure hunt. You could do this with shapes, you could do this with sight words and spelling words. I'm gonna pretend it's my very, very little learners. Um, we're going on a treasure hunt looking for things that are, have different colors in them. So we're looking at kind of consolidating our colors, um, identifying them and making connections with the real world. So I've, I've actually already taken a, a photo in my camera roll of outside my house. There it is there. And basically it's as simple as this. You just basically press uh, the pencil tool. Um, I'm not gonna do any recordings here, but I'm just gonna just, just basically get colors of my pens, I might identify uh, the different whites of the car, I might, my backboard's white, um, but the square up there is red. Um, I've got some orange different things here on my wheelbarrow circle there, and also my pot plants are that color as well. Definitely got some greens, I've got uh, my trees and my shrubs and my herbs and different things there. I've also got some blues obviously with the sky. Um, I've actually got some silvers, um, here with the logos and the things on my car. So I'm actually going on a color treasure hunt and when I'm finished I can get my students to actually record what I actually found and discovered or I can just hit my ticky box and just upload that picture straight away. Uh, let's say that I'm actually uh, Bob again. I'll press ticky box. It's loading up and it's as simple as that and um, I think the, the impressive thing about Seesaw is that it's so easy to use that the kids can really focus on the learning and the activity. Um, there's also things like notes and there's some things like links and different things that we can find. But I think the drawing and the photo and the camera roll are probably the most powerful uh, functions within Seesaw. Um, it really does allow the teacher to set really rich, authentic tasks and the kids can uh, carry them out quickly and uh, the teacher, let's have a look at what the teacher sees from their end. So what I'm gonna do is just minimize this here and just open up my teacher view. Now I'm pretending here, this is actually on a laptop. Here's the teacher view here. So I'll get out of my class code, hit on my cross, and you can see there already I've got something there. I've got a little musical instrument or a note that um, Bob was actually assessing. Um, and my teacher's got a good indication of what they know about notes and music. And if I just refresh my page here, hopefully what you get is if I click on my stream and my stream of Bob, I've got the two things that have loaded up really, really quickly. I can view them on my laptop. I can view them on my iPad. 
I can comment on them, I can flag them if I think um, some further reinforcement of the concept is required. Um, I can delete them down the side here by pressing on here. I can download the item if it's an assessment piece that I need a paper copy of. But you can see there that I can jump between my students really, really quickly and I can see their multimedia products really, really quickly, which is something that's been lacking. It's been hard to get those multimedia projects, I guess, from the student iPads to the teachers in a really efficient way. So that's Seesaw. Uh, once again, we could do treasure hunts for uh, uh, shapes. We could look at rectangles, circles, uh, pentagons. We could look at angles. We could look at a whole range of different things. Um, but Seesaw is one of those tools that we can really apply um, our curriculum really easily um, and make digital products out of. So I hope you found that useful, Seesaw. It's definitely worth checking out, but I think the real richness um, in these activities is the ability to match them to specific curriculum areas and really get our kids doing the thinking um, and not the teachers doing all the thinking for the students. Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly, signing off.